What's good guys? Welcome to literally the most anticipated video on this channel and something that you guys really want me to do, just like full strategy explained with all the building blocks, um, all put together into one video, into one like back testing session. Okay, so if you're new to this, I highly suggest you go back before watching this video on my whole strategy explained because I go over each one of the building blocks that I'm going to be incorporating into this video in separate videos and they're all like 30 to 40 minutes long. Okay, so these are the videos I need you to watch first. How to spot liquidity sweeps in the market, how to spot break of structure in the market, how to spot fair value gaps in the market, how to spot order blocks in the market and how to spot equilibrium in the market. Okay, those videos are all the building blocks that I'm going to be putting together into this video to show you my strategy explained. Okay, so right, we're just gonna get into this. Um, let me turn up the brightness right quick so I can actually see. Okay, so how do I trade? All right, so for the most part, I really only trade, I just started doing Forex again, but I really only trade the S&P 500, okay? And that's what we're going to be focusing on today. And then I'll show you how we can apply this to Forex and then also how we can apply this to crypto. Okay, this is going to be a relatively long video because I want to cover literally a lot of things in this. Okay, so to start off, what do I look for? What are like my main keys when I'm looking for entries? Okay, so let's get our little text tool out right before we just jump in. Okay, so the first thing I want to see is a liquidity sweep. Okay, why do I why do I want to see that first? Okay, the very first thing about liquidity sweeps is right, that's that's going to be a start of a new move. Okay, right. So without a liquidity sweep, you're still within the trend. Okay, but you don't know how much longer that trend's going to last. And especially if you're trading with the trend right at New York Stock Exchange open, there's almost always a liquidity sweep. Okay, so every single day we'll we'll show this when we back test it. Okay, almost every single day, right when New York Stock Exchange opens, there's either a liquidity sweep during pre market where we can find an entry off of our other methodologies, or there's going to be a liquidity sweep right at market open. Okay, for you to take a trade off of that. All right, and we'll get into that when we start back testing more. Okay, after the liquidity sweep, what do I want to see? B O S. Okay, break of structure. All right, because that confirms that liquidity has been swept and there's a shift in market structure. Okay, right. We we don't know exactly where liquidity lies within the market and where liquidity is going to be swept. The best that we can do is just mark out the highs and lows because that's where liquidity lies, right? But we don't know when it's going to react off of it. How do we know when it's reacting and how do we know when market structure is actually actually shifting, meaning liquidity did get swept and liquidity was filled and those big market orders did get filled is with a break of structure. Okay. Usually those two, those can form a trade entry for you. Okay. After this, right. How can we find a trade after, let's say we see a liquidity sweep and we see a break of structure, but we're like, Oh no, if I entered on the break of structure, it would be too bad of a risk to reward because the break of structure was like huge. Or, you know, if we, if we see a break of structure and we were too late, right. We were going pee or whatever. We weren't looking at the market. How can we find another entry? Okay. So the next entry point is going to be a order block. Okay. An order block entry. Okay. We're going to go over right in, I have a video on how to spot them within the market, right? This is just going to be everything put together, right? So if you don't know what any of these things mean, go back and watch those videos. Okay. Cause I fully explain them why we want to use them, how we can use them, what they mean in the market. Okay. If we miss the order block, let's say it was the longest P of our life, right? We see a liquidity sleep, so we see break structure. We see an order block entry, but we're too scared. We don't have any confidence in the market and that's something you need to build over time. Being confident while taking these trades. Okay. If you don't enter off of any of these three, okay. Right. You, you li literally just need liquidity sweep, break of structure. That can be an entry. If you see liquidity sweep, sweep, break of structure, and then you don't enter, what do you, what can else can you enter on order block? If you can't enter on any of those, okay. What else do we have? We have fair value gap and equilibrium. Okay. Boom. Okay. So liquidity sweep break of structure means you're catching the top or the bottom of the move. Okay. That's ideal. Order block means you're still pretty much catching the top or the bottom of the move. Okay. Fair value gap and equilibrium entry means you're entering a little bit later. Okay. Into the move, 
but you're still finding an entry and then you can still potentially make some profit off of it, right? These are like our safety, safety net, right? Liquidity sweep, break of structure, that's our entry, okay? Order block is our first safety net. Fair value gap and equilibrium is like last chance, okay? Final hope, all right? So with that being said, let's dive into this, okay? So we know what we're gonna be using, okay? Now, how, how do we wanna use it? Okay, well, like I said at the beginning of this video, we have a liquidity sweep at market open or during pre-market almost every single New York Stock Exchange open. So let's go ahead and put on, this is pre-market open, okay, 1300 on, I have mine set to London just because the person that taught me um, how to mark out the session opens, he was on the London um, time zone. And I just remembered the numbers. It was 1300, zero, 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 and eight. Okay, so 1300 is New York Stock Exchange open. Okay, um, we'll get into this in the Forex section. Eight is London open. <sighs> Boogies here. Um, and zero, zero is Asian session open. Okay, watch out, Bubba. All right, so stop. With that being said, we have all these session opens, right? This is actual New York Stock Exchange open, but this is pre-market, okay? So Forex, we're trading off of this open, but but like indexes or stocks, we're trading off of this open, okay? And for the people that always ask me about my chart, why does your chart look so clean? Why does your chart look so smooth? Mine has gaps. Where's extended hours? Shut up, okay? Ready? It's a CFD chart, Okay? Ready? I don't even know which one I use. SPX 500. Mine's the FX one. I can't even find it. Whatever the hell this one is, right? Just look up SPX 500 FX. Okay. It's a CFD chart. All right. It's not, it's not your stupid New York stock exchange. Only, only New York trading hours with opens, right? This is for foreign exchange brokerages, meaning it's showing price movement throughout the entire day. Okay, Asian session, London session, and New York session are getting shown. Okay, so with that being said, let's dive in. All right, so this will be our first back testing moment on the S&P 500. Okay, and we'll just go over this real, real quick. Okay, so on this day, when was this? Friday, okay, what did I see within the market? Okay, I won every single one of my intraday day trades on the S&P 500 this past week and we'll go over every single one of them, okay? And it, it, that, that should be enough practice for you guys and then you guys can go ahead and back test this yourself. Okay, so what, what do I look during pre, for during pre-market? Okay, let's bring this back on bar replay. Okay, first thing that we see, okay? Well, we have I'm literally just gonna go over like what I see within the market. Okay, so we have, okay, we have a low right here that was made. Get it right on the low, mink. Okay, put it with a little black handle. Okay, and then boom, we have a high that was made right here. Okay, something to note that will benefit us later in this trading session. This is a break of structure on the 15 minute. Okay, so this should already indicate we are bullish. Okay, what else we have? We have liquidity underneath these lows, but that's pretty steep for market to push all the way down there, right? Just use your brain when we're talking about liquidity, right? Is market really going to, right? Where, where, where is the next high? All the way up there on the 15 minute. Is market really going to push all the way up here on a Friday just to sweep liquidity and then make a move down, especially without news? Definitely not. Okay, use your brain, you guys. It's like simple, okay? Use your brain. All right, so with, with that being said, we have a low right here, okay? We also have another low right here that we can mark, okay? What do we see here? 15 minute break of structure, instantly, right? What does that mean? I'm bullish, okay? What do we, what do we see off of a formation of a 15 minute break of structure? We have a 15 minute order block right in here. Okay, let me get it actually on the wick. Boom. Okay, boom. 15 minute order block. Why do I drop from the wick to the body? Okay, just because price sometimes comes into the wick, doesn't fully hit the body. And what I've noticed over time is price will usually just do this. Break structure, right? And if it wants to test the order block, it'll go a little bit into the wick and then go. Or 
if it does go all the way to the body, it'll just tap the body and then take off, okay? So I don't even bother. I, I like to highlight the wick, not the body, okay? I like just doing it from the wick to the open, all right? So with that being said, right, we have our areas of liquidity marked out. We have this high that was broken above, 15 minute break of structure, okay? We can go on to the five minute, find other potential highs, right? We have a high right here, we have a high right here, and then also a high all the way up here, okay? We don't really need to have this high in because we know that 15 minute broke structure right here, okay? I think we're ready to start, okay? We're ready to get into this, all right? So I'm just going to put this right here, right? Play it and then let you guys know my mindset when price is moving, right? We already have our bias. Our bias is already bullish. Why? We broke 15 minute structure. We have this 15 minute order block, right? That, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so we'll play it. Okay, boom. Price opens, rips to the upside, takes out this liquidity. We have this liquidity in our sites as well. Okay, go into the one minute time frame. All right, now we'll play it some more, see what price wants to do. Okay. Price breaks structure to the downside off of this liquidity sweep. However, a lot of you guys get so stuck in these low time frames, you guys. This, this is not the trade. Why? Because it only swept five minute liquidity, okay? And then broke structure on the one minute. Higher time frames hold higher power. We had a 15 minute break of structure. This is a one minute break of structure. This, this means nothing to us because we already broke 15 minute structure pre-market, right? So if anything, this is benefiting us because we can see price come into this order block, right? So we're not taking the trade off of this, you guys, right? What's market going to do off rip on New York Stock Exchange open? Fake you out. What's it doing right now? Faking you out, right? So we'll play it some more, right? Ideally, we're just entering right off this 15 minute order block. Okay, we can play it again. Okay, price pushes into the order block, boom. This was my entry. We push into the order block, make a reaction off of it. That's my entry. I put my stop underneath this low. Okay, where's my first take profit? This five minute high. Okay, we can get rid of this. This five minute high is my first take profit. Okay. Where's my next take profit? Well, this is where all our other methodologies come into play. Okay, we can find equilibrium from this swing high down to this swing low. Okay, the hourly is kind of giving away what, what we're doing here, but boom. Second take profit right there. Where can our third take profit be? Go back on the five minute, right? We have this high right here. Where can our last take profit be? We, we can say that this, boom, this hour order block. That's how I set my take profits, okay? High confluence areas, not just randomly placed spots. Okay, so boom, we have, we have take profit one above this five minute high, right, liquidity. We've take profit two at this equilibrium. Why? Because we did break structure on the one hour time frame. We could reverse off of this. I have another take profit above this five minute high. Why? Liquidity. And then we also have our last take profit at that one hour order block. Okay. Pretty simple stuff, you guys. It's not off of no Fibonacci extension. It's not off of no stupid ass Bollinger bands. It's off actual price action. We use sound thinking in the market. Okay, we use our brain. All right, so let's go ahead and play it, see what price wants to do. Okay, price pushes back into this order block, respects it again. Okay, we see that price, boom, pushes in. What did I say about, about touching the body and reacting off of it, right? Boom, this was the body of the 15 minute candle. Pushed into the body, boom, immediate reaction off of it. Let's play it some more. Okay, take profit one gets hit. What do I do once take profit one gets hit? I take off 50% of my initial position. Okay, so we have 100% of our position running when we enter, right? I close 50% right here, and then I move my stop loss to break even. So once my first take profit gets hit, I've, I've won already on the day, okay? I'm not worried about the position anymore. Any, any higher it runs, that's just more money. 
Okay, so we'll play some more. Okay, take profit two gets hit. When take profit two gets hit, I take another 50% off of the open position. Okay, so we took 50% off here, meaning now there's 50% running left. Okay, I take another 50% off of the 50% of the open position. Now we have 25% of, our, of, of the rest of the position running. Okay, we'll play it some more. Let's speed this up because we already won this trade. Okay, take profit three and four get hit, right? Who knows? Maybe you maybe you just closed all of them at the same time because this was so close, right? I probably should have just like left it like this. Okay. But boom, when it hits our final take profit, we're all the way out. Look at that. That's a great trade. Okay. And how did we take it? Simple, simple stuff, guys. It was literally just 15 minute break of structure order block entry. That's all it was. Okay. Let's move on to the next day. Um, this was the next day. This was CPI news. We are not trading on news days, so we are not going to do that one. Okay, let's do Wednesday. Boom. Oh, shit. Put a horizontal line instead of a vertical one. All right. Let's push this back. Okay. Right here. Let's go to the 15 minute. This is what we see pre-market. Okay. We have a low right here. We also have a five minute low right here. How can I tell? It's just like 15 minute price action. You can, you can see the low, right? Okay. What else do we have? Ah, liquidity sweep, break of structure to the upside. See, we had a liquidity sweep pre-market. What else is that form? That forms an order block. Okay, why am I highlighting the body on this one? It doesn't have an upside wick. So I'm just going to highlight the body. Okay, or you could literally just draw a line on the top of it. I'll just do the body for this one. Okay, do we have buy side liquidity? Well, this would have been our buy side liquidity had it not been taken out. Okay, so we have to look to the left. All right, we already hit this. Okay, so this high and then we have highs all the way up here. All right, let's go into five minutes, see if we see anything different. Okay, not much, right? Liquidity sweep, break of structure, right? What is that telling me? We're probably going to be bullish on the day. What am I looking for? This sell side liquidity to be taken out, maybe this 15 minute order block to be taken out and then move to the upside. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. All right, so let's go ahead and play it. Let's move this to slower down, okay? Okay, price opens up. All right, pushes to the upside, makes a small move down. Does that hit any of our areas at all? Nope, didn't sweep this liquidity, didn't sweep this liquidity, no order block, okay? No buy side, no nothing, okay? Keep playing, okay? Boom, price moves up, takes out this area of liquidity, okay? So if we go on a lower time frame, all right, we can see this area of liquidity was taken out. Remember, we are bullish. Okay, we're not bearish. So if anything, this is going to give us a reaction down to the areas that we want to go long on, right? So we'll play it some more. Maybe we can speed it up to see if price gets down there. Okay, so boom, right? We see that this liquidity area respected, gave us a break of structure, right? We could have entered off of this, right? Break of structure, right? We have order block right here that we can mark out, see if price wants to come back up into it, right? You can potentially take a super short term trade off of this, right? Boom, come up and then take profit one, take profit two. Okay, right, you could, you could use that as an entry. Let's play it. Okay, so we don't hit the order block. Oh, wait, I guess we do hit the order block. Okay, let's see what price wants to do off of that. Right, it's doing a whole lot of nothing right now. Okay, boom, comes down, doesn't hit this liquidity yet. This missed it, okay? Keep playing it. Super freaking slow, okay, boom. Our liquidity that we wanted to see gets hit, get hit, gets hit, okay? We take out liquidity here, okay? Once we sweep liquidity, 
within our bias, what are we, what are we hawking? We're hawking the eye, the highs, right? Because we want to see a break of structure to the upside. Okay, this is the high that we're looking at. We see a strong reaction off of this level, right? Push down, massive wick up. We, we can safely assume that this is probably going to be liquidity sweat, but what do we want to wait for? That break of structure. Okay, so let's slow it down, see what price wants to do. Okay, pushes a little bit lower, still respecting that area of liquidity. Okay, we make a new high right here. Do we see a break of structure off of this? No, not yet, right? Not yet. Okay, let's play it some more, see what price does. Boom, break structure to the upside. What can we do? Enter off of that. Stop underneath the liquidity sweep. Okay, where's our take profits? Take profit one at this high, right? Take profit two at the previous high that we marked out all the way up there. Okay, that's really, that's really all we need. Okay, just two take profits on this. We can also set a take profit right here at this high because this is a five minute high that price could potentially react off of. Okay. This is what I see, right? One, two, three take profits, okay? Liquidity sweep within our bias, break of structure within our bias, okay? That's what we're looking for, okay? We can see if price wants to come into this order block, okay? But this is where we wanna enter, okay? Let's play it. Okay, it doesn't hit the order block continues up, okay, boom, continue up. So see, that's why we're saying we wanna use liquidity sweep break of structure, right? Order block and fair value gap and equilibrium are our safety nets, okay? We can also use them for take profits, all right? So let's just keep playing this, see where price goes. Okay, so take profit, one gets hit, we take 50% off, we move our stop loss to break even, another winning trade. Okay, now we have 50% left running. Let's play it, see what, mar see what market wants to do. Okay, take profit two gets hit. We take another 50% off. We can also move our stop loss into profit now. Boom, move our stop loss right here. As long as there's like sufficient structure made, right? If we hit take profit one and then hit take profit two and it's just a straight line up, I'm fine keeping my my stop at break even until we make higher time frame structure, right? If we go to the five minute, we see that five minute structure was made. Okay, just put it right underneath the five minute structure. And when do I put it underneath five minute structure? When we close above the high, you guys, I'm not, I'm not moving my stop loss until we actually have confirmation of movement to the upside. Okay, right, even if we, if we wick past this high, it doesn't count. Okay, I need confirmation to the upside. Okay, so we have 25% of our position left running. We have our stop loss now right under here. Okay, so another solid trade. Okay, we'll play it more, see what price wants to do. Okay, boom, last take profit, hit fully out of the position, another good trade. Okay, let's move on to the next day. Hopefully this is helping you guys. Okay, that was that day. All right, let's move it. Okay, go on the 15 minute. Okay, what do we see off of this? All right, we see break of structure to the upside. What is that form? 15 minute order block for us right in here. Okay, what else do we have? We have highs right here, right? We have this high right here and that's close enough to this one. If it's going to sweep this one, it'll probably sweep this one as well. What else do we have? We have a high right here. It's kind of steep, but I actually don't really remember what happened on this day. Um, I don't know if that gets swept or not, but we have this high, this high, and then we also have, right, these lows down here. Okay, let's go on the five minutes, see if we missed anything. Nope, this looks great, right? 15 minute order block, highs right here. Okay, yeah, this looks solid. All right, yeah. So, let's go ahead and see what we would wanna take on this trade, okay? And if, if we make a move to the upside on this, right, we can 
we can solidify this as a low too, right? Because look how many lows we see pushing into here. That's a lot of liquidity, right? Low, 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 right? All untapped. All right, so let's play it. Okay, boom. Okay, wow. All right, market takes out this liquidity and this liquidity to the upside. Okay, so what are we looking for? All right, right, we rip to the upside. I'm hawking these, these lows now. Okay, because we took out buy side liquidity. Okay, boom. Right, we are bullish, right? We can we can either take a short, okay, or we can just wait for liquidity down here to get taken out and then go long off of it, right? There's so many trades for you guys to take off of this, this stuff. All right, we'll play it some more, see if we get a break of structure to the downside, see if we can even get an entry on this. Okay, play it. Okay, so did this break market structure? Let me put this on the actual wick. No, it didn't. Okay, right? If we put this right on the wick, it did not break actual structure. Okay, so we're still waiting. Okay, boom. We can either enter off of, right, this break of structure, stop above the high. Okay, boom. First take profit right here. Second take profit, this order block. Third take profit all the way down here. Okay, we can do that, or we can wait for price to potentially come into this order block. Right, so let's just say we enter off the break of structure. Let's see if it comes into the order block. Okay, boom. What does price do? Push, oh shit, sorry. <laughs> kind of gave it, gave it away. But okay, price pushes up right into this order block. Okay. Hits it right off the body, like I said before, right? If it touches the body, it usually just taps it and then goes. Right, we push up, touch the body, and rip. Okay, so I don't think this hit our take profit one yet. Right, that's take profit one. It didn't hit it yet. All right, so we're just gonna sit, wait, see what price wants to do. Okay, boom, take profit one gets hit. All right, take 50% off, move stop loss to break even. Okay, right, and let's say we were in our bullish bias, okay, we could also be looking for longs here, right, because we took out this form of sell-side liquidity, right, boom, we're in shorts, okay, but now we can start hawking these highs, right, because we just swept another form of liquidity, okay, because we are high time frame bullish, okay, let's get rid of this, get rid of this, Okay, and we can see what market wants to do, right? We have we, we already made money on this trade. We have our stop or break even. Okay, let's just see what market does. Can't even remember. Oh. All right, well, break is structured to the upside. Okay, so boom, we get stopped out of break even. We already made money on our shorts. We can either boom, go long off of this, stop right under here. Okay, let's see what can, what we can see to the left. Okay, we have a high right here. We have a high right up here. We also have highs all the way up here. Okay, we can also do the, the equilibrium thing. Okay, boom, down to the swing lows. Right here, where's our equilibrium? Right here, okay, all of those can be take profits. Okay, equilibrium can be our first take profit. Right, even though that's that's kind of bad, right? This isn't necessarily a good risk to reward ratio. This is when I would ideally want to wait for price to come back into this order block, or we can use, right? Let's play it, see where market actually wants to go. Okay, so if we make this, not even a black candle down. Still no black candle down. Once we see a black candle down, we can draw out equilibrium on this low time frame and try and find a fair value gap entry. Okay, boom. All right, where's our equilibrium on this? Right here, right? So let's say we didn't want to enter on this. Okay, we could wait for price to come into this equilibrium and then that's a, lot, that's a much better risk reward ratio, right? We already made money on this so I probably wouldn't have even been trading this. Okay, but let's say we were. Okay, let's just see what we can make out of, out of all this. Okay, so price pushes into this fair value gap, okay, let's see if it wants to push into the equilibrium and push into the um, into the order block, all right? Okay, barely misses equilibrium. Let's see if it wants to go a little bit lower. If not, we can 
attempt to chase it, right? And if it gives us another blue candle, we can just say, fuck it, we'll enter right there. Okay. But let's play it some more. Okay, boom. Order block hit, equilibrium hit. I can just go ahead, boom, enter straight off that, stop under here. Okay, let's get rid of that. All right, boom. Okay, so instead of entering off this massive break of structure, right, because we saw that that was a poor risk to reward ratio, we can wait for order block or equilibrium to get hit, right, if we don't want to chase a bad risk to reward. Okay, so let's play it, see what market wants to do from here. Speed it up. Okay, so we respect the order block. Boom. Okay, did that hit our first take profit? This wasn't a take profit. Let's see. Okay, take profit one was hit. All right, take 50% off. Move stop loss to break even. Okay, that's another winning trade on the day. Okay, where are our other take profits are all the way up here. Okay, we can extend this. Okay, let's see what price wants to do from here. Let's play it. Okay, boom. Rest of our position stopped out at break even. Okay, both of those probably would have added up to maybe like a 1.5% win on the day. Why? Because we're risking 1% per trade. This was a small trade that was probably like a one to one risk to reward ratio. Hit our first take profit, but we take 50% off. So that's like a 0.5% win, right? We just took another one for like a one to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. We take 50% off. Okay, that's like a 0.75% win. Okay, decent, but like then again, I'm only taking one trade a day, right? Who knows if it was this one or going to be this one? Either way, we hit to we hit our take profits. Okay, let's go to the next day. Uh, when was this? This one Tuesday. Okay, we'll we'll go over Monday and then I'll switch over to foreign exchange. Okay, and show you how I how I day trade foreign exchange. Okay, let's move market right over here. Okay, so what do we see on this day? We see liquidity right under here. What else do we see? Okay, we see liquidity sweep, break of structure to the upside. What does that make this? 15 minute order block, but this order block's pretty much in line with this liquidity. So we can just leave that there, right? Keep our chart a little bit cleaner. We can maybe even highlight, oops. We can, we can even highlight this five minute order block, right? If price wants to come all the way down here. Okay, so boom, we have liquidity, five minute order block, liquidity already swept. We have a bullish bias. Okay, if we wanna to look to the left to see if we have any buy side liquidity, <laughs> yikes, whole lot of nothing. Okay, we have literally, yeah, like literally nothing on this, you guys. We have buy side like all the way up here okay we can me maybe measure like this fair value gap that's as good as it's going to get for us in terms of buy side okay so right either way we're bullish right because we swept liquidity broke structure to the upside so we're looking for these areas to get taken out all right Per usual, okay, go in the five minute, see what price wants to do. Play it. Okay, what does price do? Push up to the top side, all right, comes down, right? Nothing really, nothing really that we're eyeing just yet. Okay, we'll play it some more. Okay, boom. Wow, all right, that kind of spoiled a lot of it, but um, should have been on the one minute. But we take out this liquidity, tap right into that five minute order block, and then boom, we get a reaction off of it. That's enough for me to go long. Okay, that reaction off the order block is enough for me to go long. Okay, we can wait for a potential break of structure. Okay, for a better risk reward, or we can even wait for order block entry. Okay, let's say we wanna wait for it. Okay, where would we see a break of structure? Right here. Okay, this is our high. All right, so let's play it, see what market does. Okay, so we break structure. Now what can we look for? We can look for either enter straight off of this or we can do an order block entry, right? We can enter, boom, long position off this, stop under here. First take profit can be 
this high right here, we can get rid of this like fair value gap high because this one's a little bit more high confluence for us. Boom, that's still a good risk to reward ratio as our first take profit. Okay, where are our other take profits? Okay, that's, that's honestly a massive jump from take profit one and take profit two. Me personally, I'll literally just measure the 50% mark from this to here and we'll make this our take profit too because that's just a big jump and we wanna be taking profits along the way if price even gets up there. Okay, that wasn't very exact, but we'll put it there. All right, okay, so we can either enter on the break structure, see if price wants to come back into the order block, see what price wants to do. Okay, we'll play it. Okay, price pushes into the order block, gives us a reaction, gives us another push off the order block, boom. Okay, so look, remember what I said about order blocks, right? Wick to the body, what did price do? Boom, taps the body, extreme wick up. So either way, right, we're, we're probably going to enter on the close of this candle. The, the break of structure close is in line with the order block entry close. So boom, we have the same, same entry either way. All right, perfect. All right, so boom, this is our entry. Either it was going to be the same entry off the order block, same entry off the break of structure. Who cares, right? We have our take profit one up there. Let's see what price wants to do. Let's put it in fast forward mode. Okay, boom, take profit one gets hit. All right, take 50% off, move stop to break even. All right, let's see where market wants to go from here. Okay, it's pushing to the upside. Okay, take profit two gets hit. All right, take 50% off. We can move our stop under these lows, right? Because we see these highs get violated, right? Why wouldn't I move my stop loss underneath this low when we wicked above here, right? Because that's not confirmation of the high being taken out, right? When do I wanna move it? When the high actually gets cleared. All right, so now stop loss is under here. We have 25% of our position left running. I'll play it, see where market wants to go. Okay, boom, take profit three gets hit. We can go ahead and move our stop loss now right under here because we did close above here. All right, let's play it some more. Okay, the rest of our position stopped out in profit right here. Another great trade, okay? Hopefully that helps you guys. Get, a, get an inside look at, that's literally what I think every single time, right? We kept it so simple, okay? Mark out areas of liquidity, mark out previous liquidity sweeps, find order blocks off of them, okay? And then we take trades, all right? That's all it is. You guys need to stop overcomplicating this. Stop thinking, okay, that's how your brain, that's, that's what literally is going on in your brain, okay? Simplify it, okay? Mark out the highs and lows on the 15 minute and the five minute. Mark out your order blocks, know where your bias is, and then take a trade off of it. Simple as that, you guys. Okay. I don't know how long this has been, but literally it's the same thing for 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 Forex. Okay. We'll we'll go ahead and do like one or two trades on Forex. And then on crypto, it's the same exact thing without session opens. So I like trading crypto on higher time frames because it's we don't really necessarily have session opens on crypto and crypto doesn't necessarily react off of session opens like it does in Forex or um, on like the S&P. So, right, like we're, we're trying to just use higher time frames because we don't have those session opens knowing exactly like, right, new session opens, market's probably going to want to sleep, sweep liquidity, okay, versus in crypto, it's like we don't, crypto is 24-7, right, so... When crypto is going 24 seven, I'd rather just scale back on a high time frame, sit back, relax, find an entry off that, okay? And we'll do like one trade entry on that and we'll go over a trade entry on Forex uh, right now. Okay, let's just do this London session on GJ. I don't trade London because it messes up my sleep, but um, this is how essentially you would trade it, okay? It's literally the same thing. Okay, mark out the lows and the highs on the 15 minute and the five minute. Okay, 15 minute high right here. Also have a high right here. Okay, why don't I mark this high? Because it was already violated by this one. Why don't I mark this high? Because it was already violated by this one. This high no longer has liquidity. Why? Because it was taken out with that move. Okay, we can go in the five minute. Okay, we have 
this low right here, all right, that's, that's good enough for me, okay? Usually my Forex trades are really quick, um, and if you know how I trade Forex, I, I take everything off at take profit one, okay? It's a little bit different than how I trade the S&P 500. Okay, so this is London session open, all right? We're literally just looking for liquidity sweep, break of structure, okay? That's what we're gonna enter off of. Let's go ahead and play it, okay? We push down, okay? Take out this five minute liquidity, all right? Now what am I doing? I'm hawking the highs, okay? We have a high right here, all right? Let's see what market wants to do. Okay, pushes lower. Okay, now where, where is our high? Okay, we break structure, right? Why? Right? Go rewatch my break of structure video and how to spot how to spot break of structure within the market. This is a high. This is a break of structure to the upside. Right? On Forex, I literally just want a liquidity sweep and a break of structure. I'm not even risking waiting for it to go into the order block. Okay? Where are our take profits? Okay? Boom. Take profit one. Right there. Simple as that. One to two point eight one to two point eight two risk to reward ratio. Okay. I have no clue if this is going to hit take profit or not. I don't trade London session. Who knows where this is going to go? All right, let's play it. Wow, look at that, okay? <laughs> Me being surprised when my strategy actually works. <laughs> okay, well, boom, okay? See, we take out liquidity, we break structure to the upside, boom. All take profits smash, right? We can see if it's take profit two, but I take all take profits on foreign exchange right off at take profit one, boom. 2.8% made in one session in how many minutes? One, two, three, four minutes. Okay, you just made 2.8% and you're done for the day. No more trades for that day. Okay, we can see if it takes, hits take profit too, but I kind of doubt it because price really likes to react off of. Okay, boom, take profit two is hit, but I'm not even going to be looking for that to get hit. I just want the take profit one. Okay, that's all you do. Okay. You see the sweep of liquidity, you see a break of structure, you use the other 15 minute and five minute break, uh, areas of liquidity as your exit point, okay? Super freaking simple. Okay, let's go over it on crypto real quick. Let's go on like Bitcoin, okay? Right, we do this, we do um, crypto trades on high time frame. Sheesh, look at this. I haven't even looked at crypto, it's been mooning. All right, so. No sweep of liquidity yet. All right, so how would we take a trade on something like this, okay? Let's just speculate, all right? So if we're on the daily, right, low, swept, break of structure, okay? What does that give us? That gives us an order block right here, right? What do we do? Boom, body into the wick, okay? We see, okay, sweep of liquidity, break of structure right here, okay? We're, we're waiting for an entry for literally like a whole freaking week. This is why I don't like trading crypto right now especially, but during a bull market, I love trading it, but right now the volume is just so low, right? This is a whole week of just a range, okay? Boom, we keep moving up, everyone's freaking out. What's this? Another sweep of liquidity right here. We come back down, tap into this order block, right? We can enter long on that, or we can just scale down into a lower time frame, right? Where are we entering? Four hour break of structure. Okay, we tap into the order block, right? Touches the body, strong reaction off of it. Where's our break of structure on the four hour? Boom, we can get rid of that, right? On this candle, all right, boom, bow, long position stop either under here or we can do stop all the way under this sweep of liquidity wherever you want or even under this daily low okay where are we targeting okay previous highs right this high right here right it's the same thing it's the same way that we always trade just higher time frame you guys boom take profit one ends up getting hit okay where would our take profit two be i would do like equilibrium from this swing high down to this swing low. Okay, that's relatively e even with that, so I actually wouldn't do that. I would do like this fair value gap. Okay, take profit two. What else can we do? We can do bringing this order block. Okay, take profit two, take profit three. 
right? Same exact trade entries that we normally do. Okay, boom, 50% off here, stop to break even. Another 50% off, full, whole position out, okay? Like, it, it really is simple, you guys, if you just be patient. Be patient and simplify it, all right? That's, that should be your goal within all of this. Stop thinking strategy is the thing that's holding you back. It's not, it's your head. Strategy should be the easiest thing within this. The hardest thing to master should be your patience in the market, okay, and your psychology and using risk management. Your psychology involves risk management, right? Your, your goal should be to, okay, risk 1% of trade and only take like one trade a day and call it a day, okay? That should be it. If you do that, you will live to trade another day and your account will never get blown, right? If you've ever blown an account, it's because you've been over trading. It doesn't even matter if you use correct risk. If you over trade, that's going to end up being equivalent to over leveraging and only using one trade a day, right? If you risk 10% and take one trade, right? And you lose, that's still losing 10%. If you risk 1% and take 10 trades a day and you lose all of them, you still lost 10%, okay? So it's even, you need to master both of those, okay? You also need to master patience, right? Some of you guys wouldn't have been able to sit through seeing this break of structure and seeing price rip to the upside and wait for it to come into this order block right here. Most of you guys would not be able to do that at all, okay, right? There's a reason why this is very difficult, all right? It's because it's, it's hard to be patient. A lot of you guys, are, your brains are trained to be impulsive, okay? You want that instant dopamine boost, okay? And did you know that you literally get an instant dopamine boost? Whether you win or lose, when you place the trade, dopamine goes to your brain, okay? It doesn't matter what happens when you win or lose. There's no... There's no the most dopamine you boost boost you get when you trade is when you actually press the button. Why? Because you're thinking about all the money you could make. You don't care when the money you make actually gets in. Maybe you're a little bit happy, but the dopamine boost happens when you place the trade. Okay, so get used to being able to st step away from that dopamine boost and be like, I'm okay. I, I, make trading boring, you guys. This is supposed to be a job. It's not supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be like, oh, let's see how much money I can make today. It's no, no. It's let's make this an actual skill that can give me a massive return of gains and percentage gains over a long period of time, right? I take a loss and I don't care. Why? Because I only take one trade a day and I only risk 1% a day, right? So if I lose 1% in a day, I don't care. If I win one, two, 3% in a day, I don't care because that's only one, two or 3%, right? That's not a big deal to me. And it shouldn't be to you either, right? It, it is, it does end up being a big deal when all those wins and all those losses add up and give you that cumulative, cumulative, okay, percentage gain. That's when you can be like, whoa, I'm doing good, right? There's no reason to be hyping yourself up over one win trade, right? If you win a trade and you get excited about it, that means you suck at trading. Why? Because why are you happy about a winning trade? That should be assumed, right? You should assume that you're going to win a trade. If you lose, that's okay. Everyone loses. This market's supposed to beat you, all right? But you know long-term that your edge is going to make you profitable. So if you win a trade, it should be assumed. If you lose a trade, that should be assumed too. There's no sad when you lose. There's no happy when you win, okay? It's all emotionless. Make this a job, you guys. Don't make this, don't make this gambling. Gambling is when you get excited when you win a lot of money, okay? Differentiate the two. Make, if you wanna make this your actual job, you have to treat it like one. You have to actually read the news data. You have to know when not to trade during days, right? I didn't trade today because it's a bank holiday. You guys shouldn't have traded either, okay? right? We only trade in optimal trading conditions. Why? Because this is our job. There's no reason to put extra risk on the table when, when it's not optimal, right? If you don't, if you don't see a trade entry, you don't trade for the day, right? I can almost find an entry every single day using the strategy that we just showed you guys. Okay. But that doesn't mean you should be taking extra trades in a day. It just means take one trade that's high probability without high risk news without a bank holiday, without markets being closed, take your high probability trade setup 
And if you win, perfect. You should win. If you lose, who cares? That's the price that you play. That's the price that you pay to play this game. I probably lose thousands of dollars over the course of the year, okay? But think about the money that I actually make over the course of the year. It's a lot more than those losses, okay? Everything adds up, all right? So I know this was a long time. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, okay? Hopefully, this cleared up your head. Remember, guys, simplify it, okay? This will probably be my highest viewed video, and it shouldn't be because strategy is probably like less than 10% of this, right? The only, the most value that you're gaining out of this video is this last like five to 10 minute clip of me telling you how to master your psychology and how to fix your risk management. If you don't see the value in that, you'll never be good at day trading, plain and simple, okay? And you can cry about it. You can say, no, it's strategy. Look where you're at, bro. Are you making money in the markets or are you trying to make money? Seems like you're trying to make money because you're watching this video. There's a reason why I don't watch other Forex traders. There's a reason why I don't watch other day traders. There's a reason why I don't follow anybody on TikTok because I already know how to do this. I don't want to listen to anybody else besides my own bias. Okay, you're listening to me trying to help you right now. So actually let me help you. Okay, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to somebody that has been doing this for years now. Okay, that just got into the social media space trying to help you guys. <laughs> All right. It's funny when people try and discredit me and it's like, bro, I, I started this shit like five months ago and I've been making money in this for the past two years, right? Like I didn't just, I, I just appeared out of nowhere and started making these videos because I was like, I really got nothing else to do during the day. <laughs> okay. And yes, it is extra income for me because I do have a discord. I do have zoom classes, but that shit oh my goodness, is nothing compared to what I make in trading, right? It's just side money, a side hustle for me, right? Why can I do it? Because I trade for literally 30 minutes in the morning and then have nothing else to do during the day besides go to the gym. And then what, what am I supposed to do? Make a, make a couple TikToks, make a YouTube video, do what I'm doing right now. Because this I, my hobby at this point in time, my hobby back then was learning how to trade. I didn't have time to teach people how to trade, right? <laughs> you think somebody that's learning how to trade really has the time? You think somebody that doesn't know how to trade really has the time to sit down and try and teach other people how to do this? You must be goofy, bro. Come on now. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's funny when people try and discredit me, but most of you guys know that I'm real about this, all right? You, you saw from this video, right? It, like we didn't even lose a trade, all right? <laughs> like, this strategy works. Understand that it works, simplify it, use risk management, master your psychology, master your discipline. And if you're the type of person that's going to DM me and be like, hey, is there anything that can teach me how to master my discipline? No, bro, it's you versus you. Stop thinking there's, there is something that I can read or something that I can watch that can make me discipline. No, bro, it's literally on you. There's nothing that I can tell you to make you actually discipline. It's literally you just controlling yourself. And if you can't control yourself to stop yourself from taking more than one trade a day, to stop yourself from over leveraging, this shit's not for you because that's what it takes, okay? You have to be disciplined enough to understand that you can trade tomorrow. These markets aren't going anywhere, you guys. The market's gonna be open tomorrow. The S&P 500's not going anywhere. Your broker's not going anywhere, okay? There's a million freaking brokers. Okay, you can do this whenever you want. Boogie just farted in my face. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys. All right, I gave you the strategy. Okay, the strategy is the easy part. The rest of it is up to you. There's a reason why day trading is so hard and there's a reason why people call this a scam because they think all it is is strategy. Oh, well, the strategy didn't work for me. No, the strategy does works, does work. I'm using it every single day and I'm making bread and I post it on TikTok every single day and you see it. Okay. And I post receipts. All right. <laughs> like it, if you're losing, it's because you're not disciplined. It's not because you don't know the strategy. Trust me, bro. Right. This is going to be my highest viewed video. And these, this last 10 to 15 minute clip is probably going to be the least viewed because you guys don't want to hear this. And the people that actually want to take this seriously, 
are the ones that are going to watch this and understand, hey, it's not that it's not the strategy. I need to work on myself. All right. Anyways, that's about it for me. I appreciate all of you. All right. Hopefully this video does well. I probably know it will because everyone loves strategy so much. All right. And I low-key clickbaited you, showed you the strategy, and then actually told you good information at the end. Got your ass. Made you listen to me. All right. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you in the next video. My watch comes tomorrow. I'm hella hyped about it. We're about to do bust down Rolly Avalanche. Um, post a little vid about it. I, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.